Hi guys. All right. Uh, be sure to watch my most vi recent videos. It has important stuff on it. This is going to be a relatively short video, I think, but you know, I get to talking. You know how I am. Uh, what I wanted to explain to you guys, like I said, you really need to watch my most recent videos so this will make a little bit more sense. But this is in relation to accepting everyone exactly who they are right now. What they're going to find out, and this is a bit of information that will go with the last video, as a matter of fact, that this is information that they don't know yet, although they're getting close to it. But what you will find out is, eventually, is that everything that is done by a human being, pretty much, every action, every thought, every emotion, is triggered by neurotransmitters in the brain. Uh, it's by little fluids that are running around back and forth. And those are triggered by how you feel and your belief systems. So that is how the creationary process goes from how you think and how you feel into how you act. Okay? Because you can, th you can feel something and then it, it will trigger all of these things that happen in your brain and that will create activities. This is the difference between somebody who is... Um, helping the sick versus someone who is um, killing people, okay? It's a matter of these little things that are shooting off in the head. About every disease, every outcome, every action is run by those little fluids going on in the head. And for a human being, you will say those neurotransmitters are all balanced, everything's good with them, when the person is what you call normal and they're exhibiting normal behavior, they're acting normally, then for you, that is, these, all these neurotransmitters are operating right, okay? If anyone steps outside those guidelines, then people are gonna start looking at them, there's something wrong. And that could be everything from being sick with, say, diabetes, to um, beating people up. Uh, all of it is based on those messages being sent. That is how it goes from vibration, beliefs, into a creationary process through your human body. Now, the reason I bring that up is if you understand that, take that concept and move it forward. When you're dealing with humans that are around you that are playing this game for a very different reason that a starseed is doing it, then a human is playing a game. They are going to set that up on purpose to create whatever experience they had decided to create when they got here. So, you don't come to this planet, guys, and play a, a, a god. <laughs> you come to this planet to play a non-god. So, a lot of the bad behavior, you call bad behavior, is simply gods having an experience they've never had before. And if you're here playing with the bad guys, you've agreed to do so. You knew exactly what was going to happen when you came here. You knew that these things were going to be here, that that is what everyone is doing. So as you head towards 5D, you've got to pull back and look at it from that perspective. That not only on a esoteric level, on a higher consciousness level, you need to look at it that you are an individual God having your experience and give every other human being the right and the respect to do as they will as well as individual gods. That it is not their job to be a part of your group, to be a part of your belief system. It is their job and their right to have whatever experience they'd like to have. And there's plenty of room for every experience, good or bad, from your perspective. You simply get on the timeline that you prefer. And if you focus on the bad guys, you're gonna be on the you're gonna be on the timelines with them. So the more you complain, the more you'll be with them. Uh, the more you see good around you with people, the more you'll be surrounded with the good and positive people. That is totally up to you. If the world is full of bad guys, it's because you've chosen the timeline where you see them. If you've chosen good guys and you focus on them, you will go to timelines where you will not see or interact with the bad guys. Very, very seldom do I interact with bad guys according to you guys' rule. If I did, it wouldn't bother me. I wouldn't set me off in any way, way, shape, or form. Because I am very aware 
that each individual god, I'm aware of all the timelines that are available, I'm aware of everybody's options, how much is going on here, that a lot of people think, oh, it's just me and this little tiny human body living this one life. It's not. It's way more complex than that. Okay? This, if you want to go to 5D and you don't have to, you certainly have every right to stay and fight the good fight and do whatever you'd like to do. But if you are going to 5D, you simply... This information should make it easier interacting with people as you're getting onto timelines that are more higher vibration. Because you can look at an event or a person or an interaction and simply say, oh, that has to do with these things going off based on something that has been brought into them, whether it was pre-set up or not. It can be that that's what they decided to do when they came here, whatever interaction you're having with them. Or it could be something that they spontaneously came up with. Since there's no such thing as time, neither one is true. But I'm speaking to you in human language, so that's the best way of explaining it. All right, that's really all I had to say on this one. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.